citizens of America, I want us all <clears throat> to have a moment of silence in the name of stupidity. <sighs> Bernice Gutierrez over in Oregon and the idiots who actually listened to what she said. How the heck can a peanut butter and jelly sandwich be racist? I got ice cream right here. It's dark on the outside, caramel in between, and, and white on the inside. What would you call me? You call me? Uh, you know what? I can't eat ice cream no more. It just called me a racist slur. Seriously, what kind of country do we live in when a peanut butter and jelly sandwich being racist actually gets media attention on top of that, but somebody actually investigates this? You know, I mean, right now, I, that's probably a bunch of people writing the new words for, for the American people, for, uh, for, for uh, Newspeak, you know, like 1984 or something, all right? Uh, you know, her claim was that only privileged people eat peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I'm sorry, but, you know, peanut butter and jelly is like one of the easiest things to buy if you can't afford anything else, right up there with the government cheese and that big hard roll of bologna that everybody used to get at the meat shops with their food stamp back in the day and all the other stuff so where the heck is you know this is just I, I swear I mean the map of America should have a big clown face uh, you know like watermarked in it or something now because that is just ridiculous and for somebody to actually take it serious in the first place like I said I, I can't eat this ice cream no more because it's you know the the white part of it just just call me, uh, call me out my name, and and like the black, the, the brown part on the outside is starting to fight, and so it's like a, a race war and stuff right now, going you know, my ice cream. This is my face I give when people say something stupid. <laughs>